Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the light sensor with the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 robot in Scratch. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So if you didn't check out the last four videos of the series, make sure to do so. I'll put the playlist in the description. And in the last video, we basically attached this sensor while we were improving a robot. And this sensor is called the light sensor. And a fun fact is that in the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 kit, it is actually known as the color sensor. But in Scratch, Scratch doesn't support the function for the sensor to read colors. So instead, we use it to detect how bright an object is that's pointing at. So just as a quick demonstration, we are going to be using this block today and this is brightness and this is basically like a variable but it's just a sensor reading so if I click on this right now the brightness is currently at 30 and I have lots of lights shining on my robot right now so if I turn off the lights there is it's a bit darker and let's see what the sensor says it's 17 so there we go and if I make it a tiny bit brighter but I don't make it too much brighter just a dim light there it's 26 so this sensor is very very accurate and now I've just turned the light up to the max and it's now at 30. And this sensor basically gives the brightness value from 0 to 100, 0 being the darkest and 100 being the brightest. But it's quite difficult to get a value of 100 unless you have the sensor right close up to the light, which I don't right now. So we can uh, look at also we've got this block right here and this block basically is like an events block and when the brightness is less than a certain value then the code underneath it will execute and now we are going to look at some programs with the light sensor so for our first program what i want to do is i'm when i press the touch sensor the light sensor is going to report a value and it's going to add it to a list on scratch and we need to create the list first of all so i'm going to call it readings and then after I do that, we need to go into LEGO e 3 and get when button 1 pressed. And when the touch sensor is pressed, we simply get to add an item onto the list. And this item is going to be the brightness from the light sensor. And let's just take the brightness right now just to start off with. We've got a brightness value of 36. Okay, if I shine this sort of black lego piece onto the light sensor it is definitely going to be way darker so we have a value of one there and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dim the light down a bit so we've got a really dim light we've got 28 let's see if i can actually just change the light to a different color we've got a value of 33 and so as you can see basically the value can vary and if it doesn't vary by much so really cool project you could do is maybe get the light sensor to look outside like a window and then maybe every 10 minutes you could take a reading and uh, it depends how strong the sun is right it is a bit sunny right now so that's why the light sensor is giving some higher values usually it would probably give around about 20 in the room i'm recording in so it's really really cool to see the different values of the light sensor over a day and you can maybe take the average value or something like that but I'm not going to get into this project and I'm going to move on to the next program. So the next program is sort of going to be like an alarm clock so basically I'm just going to get the light sensor when the brightness is greater than a certain value um, and it really depends on the outside conditions then we can make a sound that will hopefully wake whoever sleeping up so what we can do is we need when the brightness is greater than but this is less than right now so we need to actually get an if condition and then we need if brightness is greater than and let's say the brightness is greater than 27 then we can make a sound and I actually haven't taught you how to use sound yet with the LEGO Mindstorm EV3 robot and I will get into that in a future video for now I'm just going to get a sound from scratch so let's just get this meow sound right now and then I just need to run the script forever and then I'm just going to turn off the light to make sure it's quite dark so and then I'm going to press the green flag and right now uh, it's it's too dark so the robot's not going to do anything let's say it's like daytime right now it's just morning 
that is an alarm and you can maybe make this do something other than just make a song you can maybe make the motor move um, um, on the robot or you can make the robot uh, drive around and, and and not stop until it gets uh, to a certain brightness value there's a lot you can do but I'm going to move on to your final program for today's video so basically for this final project I want the user to uh, basically guess what the brightness value is and if it's correct the robot can do something if it isn't then the sprite can say incorrect so first of all we need to ask the question so I'm just going to get the question block and I'm going to ask guess brightness and then after I do that then we need the if then else condition and then for the else bit we can do incorrect first of all so we can just get the sprite to just say incorrect and then if it is correct then I'm just going to get the robot to move some motors so we can move motor B clockwise and then we can move it anti-clockwise and then we need to actually define what is correct and it's going to be very difficult for the user just to guess correctly so if the user is one less or one more uh, the brightness value then we can just accept that as the correct answer so we, there's uh, three possible conditions so first of all the lucky one if the user is just exactly correct so if the answer is equal to brightness and then if it isn't, if it's one less than the brightness, then we need brightness minus one. So we need this operator right here, and then we need one right there, so brightness minus one. And then we can also do the same thing, but we need brightness plus one. And I'm not going to allow two off, I'm just going to allow one off. So then we just need two OR blocks. So we can put one in here, and then we need an OR block in the OR block like this and then we can put this one in here and then we can put this one in here and make sure you have them in the correct places or this script will not work and then we need to drag this big massive block in here and now we can actually just start and I'll just show you all the code so we've got all of this and now let's press the green flag Guess brightness, let's say, I think I know it's around about 31. I am definitely correct. Let's see if I turn off the light now and I try to guess the brightness. So let's say if I just guess 25, which is definitely wrong. And no, it's actually correct. I didn't actually know that. So let's say I just put a ridiculous value in 800. It's not going to be 800 because it only goes up to 100. There we go, the sprite says incorrect, and that is all we're going to do today with the light sensor, but we are definitely not done with sensors, so make sure to check out the future videos of the series, we can use the light sensor to actually follow a line um, with the robot, and that is a really fun project that I will do later on, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.